Yo, Mia, what day is it? It's September 1st? No sooner than September 1st. No sooner than today. No sooner than bring back my Electra, baby. Today's video, we're doing a boundless. It's not a prediction, because it's an absolute fact of what's happening. It's going to be featuring Sam and Farfa, who had some really good takes in their boundless prediction videos. Goku Mad Joker to one, Double Iris Magician to one, and maybe even Astrograph Sorcerer to one. Skullcrabat, Joker, Double Iris, and Astrograph all to one. But they also had some shit takes. Pendulums aren't the greatest. Pendulum has been trashed for like two years. The reason why the deck is still alive today is because my boy Triff. The only reason you haven't actually forgotten about the existence of this mechanic is because of some Jersey Shore Royd Boy YouTube channel. Anyways, let's get started. But before we do, smash the subscribe button because at 35,000 subscribers, guys, we'll be releasing my very first Yugi Tuber vlog, baby. So smash the subscribe button. I'm going to show you guys a day in the life of a Yugi Tuber and then a day in the life of a Yu Gi Oh player when events are back. So smash the subscribe button and let's get started on today's video. First thing first, there are two cards I need to get banned that are not even, I'm not even going to entertain any other idea. I'm not even entertaining any idea that these cards are not getting banned. They are getting banned without question. First and foremost, I want to talk about the most obvious card that needs to get banned is... Block Dragon. Block Dragon. Later, bro. Later. You're gone. I'm not even going to hear it. I'm not even going to hear, oh, it's not a problem with the one. No, not to one. To zero. It's banned. You will join Electromite. But the problem for you is not for long because Electromite's coming back. Next, Needle Fiber. I'm not going to entertain it. No, not ban Jet Synchro. No, not ban Olion. No, ban Needle Fiber. No, not ban Oradon. Not ban Link Ross. Ban Needle Fiber. I'm not even going to entertain any other idea. Needle Fiber is getting banned. I'm not entertaining any other idea, not, not nothing else. Needle Barber's gone, and Block Dragon's gone. Next. First card that I'm going to hit here is Smoke Grenade. Let me tell you something. I told you, Needle Fiber's getting banned. So Infernal Bolt without Needle Fiber sucks. They can have Smoke Grenade all they want. Smoke Grenade is not getting touched because I'm not having it. Needle Fiber's getting banned. I'm not even listening to anything else. Needle Fiber's getting banned. Hence, because it's banned, Infernal Bolt sucks. So they get smoking it all they want. Like, imagine I came into your house and, like, stole your TV while you were asleep, right? And then took the TV. Now you no longer have a TV. That's, that's smoking it. So rather than your TV getting stolen, Farpa, maybe invest in a gym or something. Put some meat on those bones, all right? Next, Dragoon. Dragoon ain't getting banned, bro. Dragoon is not getting touched. Some people think Dragoon's getting... It just got released last week. Really interesting fact. Uh, did you know baby elephants are the biggest baby of any mammal they come in at about 250 pounds average just as a newborn baby which actually makes them the biggest babies of any species alongside people who think that dragoon should be banned one week after it's released in the tin tell him far for tell him bro tell dragoon's not getting banned bro just got released last week now to what the next card that i truly believe that could come off the forbidden eliminus is probably skull Corbat joker to one Double Iris Magician to one, and maybe even Astrograph Sorcerer to one. Skullcrabat, Joker, Double Iris, and Astrograph all to one. That's right, baby! That's right! Joker, Iris, Astro to one! Let's go! That's right! The amount of 10, 20 negate boards that Trish puts up with Pendulums is pretty impressive, but to my boy Ultimate Conductor Toronto, what is 10 negates? Absolutely nothing. Hi, Mom! Here's the best deck! Let's go! First off, that was the worst trip impression of all time. Secondly, turn my deck, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And thirdly, conductor ain't doing nothing to no pen board, baby. Six negate, ten negates. Dinos can't do it. Pen best deck. Speaking of dinos, not that pendulum need no help to defeat this sorry deck, but misc. You're going to one, bro. Misc is going to one. It's about time. Sorry about that, Sam. You're gonna have to play a new deck now. You're more than welcome to pay, play pendulums with us. As for Farfa, he's not. Because typically in the pendulum community, there are no feet lickers. So Farfa should stay where he is. But Sam, you're more than welcome to join. Scarlet goes to one, even though Elledge sucks. And Meltdown goes to one, just because every single searcher in Yu-Gi-Oh! is at one. I mean, Joker's even banned. 
let alone meltdowns at one or Alistair and meltdowns going back to one, but if you put Alistair down to one, then it's the only Alistair they have in the whole deck. That makes it so much shittier. At least meltdown to one just stops the consistency as the Scarlet, as the miscellaneous. So all those are going to one. Now at the two, nothing. Why does this thing even exist? What do you even have a tattoo for? I don't get it. Wait, what? The only card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, there are two of them that was good at two, would be Mali at from three to two, so you can only use it once, and Zoo Rap here. That's it. Nothing else should ever in history go to two. Now to three. I got Red MD to three. It's unrated. It could be a five for all I care. Summon Tour Guide Veiler. Okay. Summon Tour Guide Imperm. Okay. Summon Tour Guide Gamma. Graph and Seer. Can also go to three. That's right, I agree. Tour Guide, Sir, and Graf. It's a solid take right there. They're going to three. Buster Dragon and Toad to three. I can't for the life of me figure out why these cards were limited in the first place. People who defend Buster and Toad to one are like those stupid football players who roll around on the ground for like five minutes because some other guy bumped into their knee at like three miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, Buster and Toad to three too. What damage are they doing? They're not doing any damage to the meta, bro. They, they're not... Who has once said, oh my god, I fear ABC, I'm going to side deck for ABC in the last three years? Who has ever said, oh my god, I'm scared of Paleo, I'm going to side and out to Toad in the last three years? Probably not a single soul. So they could freely come back. Want anyone else can come back to three? Electromite, baby! So bring it on, Konami! Bring back Electromite! I know that this wish list is as realistic as me finding happiness again. Konami, as you can see here, that's a man crying for help. That's a man crying for help. Farfa here is crying for help just because he's sad that Electrum is at zero. So, Konami, if you want to save Farfa's happiness and worldwide happiness and not make anyone in the world sad, just bring back Electrum to three. It'll cure world hunger and everything. So please, Konami... Bring back Electrum to one. Thanks. Now, despite the fact of Electrum probably never coming back to one because it's the most broken card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, if Electrum ever came back to one with Selene, you have any idea the power of Pendulum? It would be the number one deck. 100%. That's why I don't think Konami will bring it back. I think Konami will maybe bring Electrum back to one in a situation where new Pendulum support gets released, then it'll come back to one. But when it comes back to one in this list, oh my god. It would, oh my god. Pendulum would just be the best deck, bro. I would, oh my god. Please, please. If Electrum doesn't come back, there's another game changer here. I pray it doesn't happen, but I think Maxi might come back to three. I pray it doesn't happen. I pray it doesn't. And this is the biggest wild card. If Maxi does come back to three, the entire meta changes instantly instantly you have to change your whole deck the way you play it you have to start playing slow 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 versions even for pendulums we're gonna have to start playing called by the grave who the heck wants to play called by the grave just for one maxi uh, maybe you have to start playing jewel and lockbird i don't know if it'll work on your turn but just to stop the maxi whatever it is maxi is a problem for every combo deck especially pendulums so you have to play some very slow version of pendulums the maxi doesn't alter but it, 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 that's so bad I'll let you guys know if Maxi does come out, how we're going to uh, stop it, whether it's Ash Blossom or Droll by playing Ash to stop it, whether it's quite called by it, whether it's playing slow versions, whatever it may be, I'll let you know if that comes. Another uh, wild card I, I view here uh, is Broad Bull. I think if Broad Bull comes back to even one, especially two, but if Broad Bull comes back to one, if Maxi comes back, which Maxi will only come back to three or zero, not one or two, it's too unfair. Three, at least you have to plan your deck around. One or two is Saki. Or if Electrum comes back, all those three are game changers. So if they come back, huge game changers. I do hope out of all three of them, only Electrum comes back and Broad Bull. If both, I love Zoo, so that comes back, that'll be great. But I pray Maxi does not come back. But we better get ready because Maxi might just come back. If you guys got this far, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. When we had 35,000 subscribers. I, I've already created five amazing videos that I intend to release at 35,000 subscribers. I spent this past week on them and they're honestly amazing some of the highest quality content i've ever made in my life i'll be releasing all five of them on the week of thirty-five thousand subscribers so smash the subscribe button guys you guys are gonna see uh five videos that i really like spent i literally spent tw like 20 hours a day on it for five days and i spent so much time on them they're amazing you guys will love them also don't forget that if you guys love pendulums you gotta play on a beautiful trip gaming playmat 
which you can get down below in the description. And also, if you want to get better at Pendulum, don't forget to sign up on the Pendulum Training down below on Patreon. Hope you guys liked the video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.